kitchen stuff. I'm Sarah and I'm Kim and Amy is my other name and we are glad to be back with you today. It's been a little bit since we could record because we had a family emergency come up so we thought we would just explain why because it was a big deal for us. So sure if you follow me on Instagram you already know mm -hmm. but um, my mom um, had been suffering some health issues during the um, quarantine time that didn't, I'm just going to call it out right now. Um, I've been thinking about it a lot today. She was really a, um, one of those silent victims of the quarantine because she um, was not diagnosed with her terminal lung and bone cancer until three weeks ago, even though she was having symptoms clear back as far as March. So three weeks ago today, actually, she called me and told me that she had just been diagnosed with cancer and it was terminal. And this was her third go around with cancer. So we knew that this was it. And um, it, it went so fast. Uh, the first week, we were just kind of still thinking she was going to do some, tr not treatment for the disease, for this cure, but treatment for comfort. We didn't know it was going to go so fast. And a week later, from her, a week from her diagnosis, she was, we got her on hospice. And um, yeah, a week and two days later, she passed away. So. I have been up at my mom and dad's house, which is up north of where I live, um, providing 24-7 care for the last, I don't even know, it's a blur. Um, it was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do, but was um, the best thing I probably have ever done. And um, Sarah came mm -hmm. to do a quick visit just to see her grandma one last time, and she was at my parents' house for maybe two hours, and she called her husband and said, because, um, you know, Sarah lives far away from me. Um, I can't leave my mom. She needs help. And so Sarah stayed with me um, basically the whole time also and um, helped me because I didn't really have any other help. And my dad is 83. And so he also needed support. And um, so she passed away on Tuesday. And um, now we just start, I start living my life without a mom, which is a very surreal feeling, especially because it went so fast. And really the last five days of her life she was not communicative other than yes she's having pain or yes she wanted water so I feel like there's a lot of things I, I would have asked her and maybe talked to her about if we'd had more time and we just didn't so I'm, I'm grieving that too but we're back and the sun is out and I have a beautiful family that's been around me I couldn't ask for better family and support <laughs> so I know that I can go on and um, that kind of leads into maybe old finishes because as I was at my mom's house, I would look around her house and I didn't realize that I had cross-stitched so many things for her over the years before I quit stitching. And I, I just plucked two little things off of a shelf that I knew my dad wasn't going to miss um, and brought them because they were probably the last two things I stitched for her. Um, one of them is this um, homespun holidays ornament that I made for her. And I'm almost positive that was out of a, one of the Christmas ornament magazines, probably back in the middle mm -hmm. 2000s. Um, anyway, she's always, she never put it away. It, even though it was, a, it was a Christmas ornament, she always had it hanging on a hook on her hutch in her dining room. And then the other thing that I did for her, um, the story for it goes way back. Um, it's this little bird with the pine cones and the pine bough. And... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a leisure arts pattern leaflet. Mm -hmm. And when I got married <clears throat> thir almost 38 years ago, she gave me a couple of dishes, just random. It was a, pl a couple of plates and a couple of bowls. And on it was pine cones and a pine bough. And I don't even know if there was a bird on it, but it, it could have had a bird on it. And I loved them. And they were not very expensive and they weren't very hardy. And I don't have them anymore because they broke but they were remnants of a set of dishes that she had gotten from her grand, my, my um, dad's grandmother. So it would have been her grandmother-in-law had given her those dishes years before when she had gotten married and we both loved them and we loved the little pine cones. And when I saw this pattern, I thought, Oh, that just reminds me of those dishes. I'm going to stitch that up for mom. So I did. And she had it tucked up on a shelf in her dining room also with a few other little things I had stitched. So, um, I'm happy to have it home with me because I will always treasure it. So. And I think 
the fact that she kept those out all the time. She was a master decorator. She just taught herself how to beautiful. decorate her home, and it was beautiful. Just very um, folk. What do you call it? folk art? Folk kind maybe. of like folksy. Um, some of it was a little Americana here mm -hmm. and there, and some of it was just yeah, like these things fit in perfectly with the yeah. style that she just had. A lot of a lot of dry everywhere. flower swags, a lot of just things just tucked in, little little vignettes that she just tucked lots of little things into and just filled up a little corner, but tastefully, not not cluttery. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, it does say a lot that she kept them up, and I'm glad she liked them. And mm -hmm. I'd kind of forgotten about this little guy until I was mm -hmm. sitting there, looked up at it. So I don't even know what year I did it. I didn't even date it or this, but mm -hmm. it had to have been back before, right when you got married, because I stopped stitching then. Mm -hmm. So those are my previous mm -hmm. finishes for my mom. So we've had a hard week, but like she said, we're keeping on going. And I think stitching and and knitting and those things kind of help keep our hands busy when we're sad and kept our hands busy when they weren't busy caring for her too. So yeah. we got some, really a lot of knitting done actually during that time because it was easy to put down and pick up and put down when we were interrupted, um, you know, or not interrupted, but when we needed to get up and down, take care, take care of her and take care of grandpa. Stitching, and stitching for me is, something that I have to sit down and have a focus time. It, like she said, I, I have a really hard time getting up and down when I'm stitching, but I can just lay my knitting down. And um, I have to get all situated when I stitch. I have to sit down in a certain spot. I have to have my lamp on. I have, I don't know, just is more of a setup, more of a production. We should show our other little finishes because they're family too, these ones. Oh, yeah. So this was not finished. Speaking of knitting. Yeah, this was not finished during this troubled time. I started this in January. Technically, you finished it yesterday. Oh, yeah, I, I put the <laughs> buttons on. So I have my husband's nie uh, nephew and niece had a baby um, back in January, February, and I started this adorable little sweater pattern. I'm sure the lighting is a little dark, but it's, it's a little more of a dusty rose than yeah. it's looking on the, our color isn't going to be great today, I think, but. And this is the little pattern on the back and the little that's lace so pattern cool. on the Do you remember the name of that pattern? It's Granny's favorite. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, and it is, if you're a knitter, it's knit out of a DK. And I used a yarn called Sueno, S-U-E-N-O, by, I believe, Haiku, I think. Um, we can look that up. But it's my favorite baby okay. sweater. If you want it, it's, it's quick. And it's by Georgie Helen. Georgie Helen, yeah. Um, Rosie saw it yesterday and she said, I have one of those. Yes. She so does. She had gotten one of those too, yeah. in a different color. Yeah, and she I think I'm going to have to knit one for our new grandbaby coming. I wish, I wish she had it in the fingering weight because I have a fingering weight yarn. But anyway, my So yeah. I also knit one for that same baby. So we need to send those off. But this is the one I knit. This is the 12 month size, I think. Mm -hmm. But I think there's a lot of positive ease yes. so that it fits a long time. And this pattern is so cute. I've knit several of these. It's called it's a, Sorello. It's, got a little it's also by hair. Georgie Hallam. You know, she just makes the cutest baby sweater patterns and they're really easy to follow. So even when I was a fairly, I mean, I was a, not a super beginner knitter, but I hadn't knit a lot of sweaters. Mimi made Millie one. Yeah, she's saying that. I, I made you one uh -huh. as well. We so we made, made a couple. Yeah, we have had it in pink. We've had it in cotton candy rainbow colors. We've had it in her directions on her yeah, patterns, they're probably some purple. of the most well-written patterns I ever did. Just and really sweet. I knit my first one of those actually Ooh, as a special. very new knitter. It's probably my second garment I ever knit. And her patterns come multi-size. They yeah. go from newborn to like size 12. Yeah. She gives you all the measurements so for it. I think I need to knit one for one of my girls coming up here because Rosie was kind of asking for yeah. one. And, and there is now making a longing face. I don't remember what yarn I used now. I should look back and yeah. see if I have any... This loft, when, you, we, when we blocked this, it just got so squishy. I really mm -hmm. wish I could remember yeah. what it is. And her, and her sweat, her garments are also, because of the way they're designed, they last a child for quite a long time. They're just really, you go by. You can go longer, shorter, you go yeah. by chest size. So And this has got little three quarter length sleeves, but you could have done short sweet. or long. This was a 12 month size. Um, I don't know why I knit anything shorter. except her patterns. Yeah, I don't <laughs> they're just they're some of my favorite knitting yeah. patterns. So those are getting shipped off, cool. hopefully tomorrow, very very tardily. I think I got it all finished and just putting those buttons on. 
And I'll be honest, when we went into lockdown, I didn't knit. I didn't knit. I probably didn't knit until the weekend we went and visited you for the first time mm -hmm. in May. Um, cross -stitch. I just cross stitched. I don't know why. I just didn't feel like knitting. And I, it's weird because you would, I would have thought that would have been something that would have brought me great comfort, but for some reason, stitching did. And I just focused on the stitching. So, but it is done for this baby. She's not going to need to wear it until she lives in Minnesota. So she's not in any hurry for a sweater at this point. So it will get there in time. All right, we have some girls. We have one girl who didn't really do any crafting this time, but she's just desperate to say hello. So come say hi. Do you have anything you want to talk about? Or just to wave and say hi? This is, this is our Liddy. This is Liddy. They Normally had to, she does have stuff to share, but it's I, been kind of a crazy time. I so. forgot to bring it. She forgot. Yeah. So we're at, we're, at my, we're at mom's house in right now. In my backyard. Now, getting ready. We're going to go back to Yakima today, but it was kind yeah. of a quick... Daddy had to throw everybody in the car and get all their stuff. Nobody was thinking much about their cross stitch, except for Millie, who always is thinking about yeah. cross stitch. So why don't you come share what you have? Don't bump the table too much, okay? It's jostling. Your I'll pattern just that. away. Maybe. That's okay, Liddy's gonna get it. Come on over between us. Can you just keep your head in? Okay, Millie. So do you wanna tell us, remind us what pattern you're working on? doing the raccoon. The raccoon. Yeah, so she's doing the raccoon this of Woodland, Woodland Friends by Tiny Modernist. And we've linked, I think, to the um, um, we've linked to this magazine in past episodes. So if you, I just don't remember off the top of my head. It was, I think, October last mm -hmm. year. What is this that you've stitched here, Millie? Um, I think it's the birch tree yeah. right there. Oh, right. You can't really see it very well. Yeah. Here, let's see. I hold it here. It's, it's the, You're doing the raccoon. You can hardly see it. The lighting isn't great this, here, but do you see these lights? Are you on this, this side? I couldn't this even side. see it very well this, in the house. She's doing the, hold up, finger. I think it's like a white birch like tree. Like a birch tree. Mm -hmm. Or an aspen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you will show it again. So she's got there. a little bit of white done. All and her that border white. that matched up. Quite a bit of white. Mm -hmm. Not very fun to stitch white, is it, Millie? Pretty yeah. soon you get to add another Pretty color. So you'll be trucking along here. You work oh, on it. yeah, you look like you're probably almost done with that one. Yeah, yeah. And then you'll get to go on to what are you going to do next? Raccoon. 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 Down to the raccoon. Show it one more time. Look at that cute raccoon she's about to stitch. <laughs> you can start with his tail and just go right down. Yeah. So sweet. So that's what that's the crafting. Rosie didn't really want to get her hair fixed. And I told her she had to have her hair fixed to get on. Uh, <laughs> today because it's a little like woo, crazy. It's a little woo and she didn't really have anything to share she's busy playing inside so that's the girls stuff this week which was really just you okay you can have a minute to talk about your kitten your kitten my kitten you mean my kitten <laughs> which kitten the kitten we're sharing <laughs> all of them gotta talk loud you gotta get your come head down you can't okay. really come in but if you stand there and speak loudly it'll be fine okay so we have four kittens, and I have a favorite, and his name is Scramble, and he's super cute. Okay. And is he Scramble around? Yes. Is that why he's <laughs> called Scramble? Okay. No, we named him when he was first born. Oh. He was not Scrambly then, but oh. we had a tumble, a scramble, and a jump. A jumpy? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we had a June and had a George. And and originally, when I talked to my daughter about these kittens when they were born, <laughs> we're not keeping any of them. And how many are we keeping? Three. <laughs> you can't have too many cats on a on we're a. Just when you live in a pasture. So we now will have seven, seven. cats. But cats kind of come and go at our place quite often, so it's a little nice to have a surplus because they help keep. We're in the middle of farmland, and so we get mice, especially when they start harvesting corn and hay. We haven't really had any in the house for years now. Because you had a lot because of cats. Because we have a lot of cats. We just keep cats. And the dogs actually kind of mouse, the little dog. Okay, Millie, you want to talk about oh, your cat, Amy's too? Oh, hilarious. Go ahead. One of our cats taught our little dog how to hunt two mice, and she mm -hmm. brings in mice all the time. Well, not in the house. That no, not good. in the house. At, at the back door. Or, like, onto the yard if she goes into the pastures. Mm -hmm. Okay, Millie, what did you want to say? I have my and I have a kitty. Her name is Tumble. She's a cow. She's really, really cool. She is. So maybe Mama can put a picture of the mm -hmm. kitties at the end of the video so people can see how adorable they are. Yeah, 
I can try to do that. If I didn't, I if I liked cats more, I would take one, but I'm not ready to have cats again. You're so sweet though. You're so sweet. You should. I don't want a cat. <laughs> we have a dog. Why don't you like cats? Because they shed and they claw at your furniture and we live in the <laughs> city. Shed I know, but I don't want a dog in a cat shedding. And we live in the city, so it's not going to be an outside cat. And I don't dog want another inside cat. Cats. And I don't want a litter box. <laughs> yeah. We, we had two cats that lived, they were indoor cats and they lived, the oldest one lived to be, what did we figure? 19 years? Really long. Yeah, really long. So that's, that's the life update. We so already, there we go. There's the girls. We already gave June a ring. Yeah, one of our cats got a new home already. And they're very happy. Okay. okay. Bye. <laughs> you guys can go play. I'm gonna go play right now. Okay, Millie's over there picking blueberries, but she'll leave soon. Mm -hmm. Well, we have whips. Whips. Whip. Um hmm. well, okay. One? I do yeah. have to I this is kind Bye. of a whip and kind of a haul. <laughs> So several, a couple of days after my mom was diagnosed, I, my mom loves, loves sunflowers and she's got a whole sunflower corner in her kitchen. And so, um, there is a gal on Instagram. Her name is Barbie Petal Pusher. And I think she used to have a YouTube. I don't think she does anymore, but she also designs and she does some gorgeous little floral designs on, I think she has patterns on Etsy. And she, I mean, literally, it was just a matter of a couple of days after we got this devastating news. And she showed on her Instagram that she was releasing this sunflower pattern, oh. Harvest of Joy. You didn't show me this. We talked about it. I yeah. guess we never did. I, I never got we it out. didn't even have time. So Bye. I saw that and Tooling. I was like, oh my gosh, I really, I just want to stitch that for my mom. That and, um. And so I, I commented on her Instagram because she said she was releasing it to the local needlework stores and that it would be available the next Friday in her Etsy shop. And so I said, oh, I'm going to be stocking your Etsy shop. My mom was just diagnosed with cancer and those are her favorite flowers. And she graciously um, messaged me and said, I would love your address and um, I would love to send you out a copy. And she did. And it was, it, it it's beautiful. And it's just mm. DMC, but she uses and lovely, really lovely cute. flosses. It's kind of that patchwork uh -huh. thing that I like. Oh. Those are the flosses. That's all it, is. all it takes. And she sent me a lovely note. I mean, just a oh. dear, dear person. And I, and I do need to, oh, um, we'll link to her and let her know that we yeah. shared about this pattern. So yeah. go, go to our show notes and follow the link and look at, I need to go look at her yeah. other patterns. She's got some too, really, she sent me cute. actually a, another one of her patterns. I don't have it in here. Time. But so go she, find Pedal Pusher and look at her other ones. Barbie, I haven't. Barbie Pedal Pusher. Barbie mm -hmm. Pedal Pusher. Her name is Barbie Tingley. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there. I'll put the link in the notes and follow it and go. Yeah. So it's so I'm, nice to support people who are so kind. Too, yes. So. She was just very kind. And um, I quickly realized that mom was failing so much faster than we ever thought um, that I, I, I thought, okay, I'll just, I'll get one done. So I thought I would just do like that flower right there. I'll, I'll just get that one done for her. And um, within a matter of days, I was told that she needed 24 seven care, but I did manage to get one little part of a petal done in the pale yellow. <laughs> the fabric I'm using is an 18 count picture this plus dapple. And it's not showing up very well, but it's one of the lighter yellows in the, the yellow pops more than it's looking yeah. like in our yeah. color. It's, it's a little washed up today. But we didn't want to go inside. There's not really a good room to film in my house right now. And it's, it's really got, nice out today. Yeah, we've too. got ACs running in the windows and it's loud. So that was my only real whip that I barely got started and quickly realized I was never going to get it done in time for her to even see it. Um, I don't know. I can't remember because I didn't go back and rewatch if I did show I my... I feel like you hadn't finished this yet. Yeah, before all this happened, I had shown that I had said I was working on my button up. And um, so I did finish, and I'm sorry if I showed it already, but I did finish this little well, center square. I think last time you still had all the white to do. Oh, maybe I had all the I white to do. Now. But I did that one. Mm -hmm. My goal had been wow. to do the next one over by the end of this month, but clearly that's not happening. Um, but I'll keep plugging away. This piece actually brings me a lot of joy and comfort when I'm working mm -hmm. on it. It's 
it's, I just love it. And I saw that Misty Purcell, who um, actually brought this pattern to my attention because she was doing a stitch along with mm -hmm. other people, one of them being Barbie Pedal Pusher, which is oh. how I started following her. Huh. Um, and yeah. Misty just finished hers last week. So you can go check out Misty Purcell Luminous Fiber Arts Instagram um, to see hers. So really, folks, that is all. My Christmas in July plans got totally derailed. Yeah, I did. It's gonna be a yeah. yeah. Well, I did. I think oh. I showed. Did I show my fabric last time? Yeah. I had re-dyed my fabric for this huge piece, and I'm really hoping maybe tonight I can cast this on. But I just grabbed it. Here's all my flosses. I had it all ready to go, <laughs> um, but life happened, and um, but I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna start it probably this, this weekend. Yeah, there's some Color. gorgeous colors oh, in this. Yeah. I've been following people on um, Carolyn Zook's Facebook page, which is Friends of Him Friends of Hawk Run Hollow, mm -hmm. and many people started these on the 15th, and they're whipping along. The first square has a gorgeous peacock in it and some oh, words yeah. to a Christmas carol. So um, I'm really what that teal is. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it peacock. is. Yeah, it's Pretty. gorgeous. So that's what I've worked on. Oh, and my other. Yeah. This is really my biggest whip because I worked on it sitting by Mama. Um, it is, let me show you the picture of the pattern because this yarn is so dark. So it's just a baby sweater for our new grandbaby. It's supposed to arrive in October. There's no pattern yet. It's just called, what's it called? It's stuff got a ba basic like name. Baby cardigan or something. It's just called Baby Cardigan oh, by Florence Merlin. Yeah. Um, cardigan. She is on Ravelry but I think I bought my copy off of loveknitting.com. She's, I believe, a French designer. Her patterns are a little, little sparse uh, <laughs> in directions. So if you're a beginner at sweaters, yeah. maybe yeah. get some help. Have some help. Have some help I'm hand. starting it from the top down, so this is the little yoke. Um, it is so front. pretty, though. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's you see. really so, can't see it. Let's it's see got here. little eyelets. It. See these eyelets are like the sleeve. I don't think they can see them. Okay, here, let's see. If I step back a little. You can see the little holes, the lights. And you'll see it on this pattern. You can see the little holes. Actually, you can see it if I open it up. Oh, yeah. The light see that? Through the back. So this is the yoke, right? And the sleeves yeah. go like These are going to be right in here. I'm getting ready to wrap around. I'm getting ready to separate for the sleeves. Like I have back. So let me un try this yeah, I've unknit and reknit the last That's I don't know five thing. rows several times because I got off. But, yeah, um, that kind of eyelet you just have to like yeah. be so careful and it's hard and, and it's I, noticeable if you make a mistake. Yeah, stay. yeah, I had to go back because you it would just be all and off. And it has this little button band. It's yeah, so pretty. So it's a beautiful um, yarn. It's called Herbst Wine. Herbst Wine. And it is made in Germany, and it is 100% virgin wool. And it is a deep, it's very dark purple. Yeah, maybe that contrasting purple. And that's still a little bit lighter than it should be, but. <laughs> Sorry, okay, guys. So there you go. It's a deep purple. It's kind yeah. of a, I want to say, kind of an eggplant color to me. Yeah, that's what I would call yeah, it. I eggplant. was thinking violet, but that wasn't right. Violet no. usually sounds And it's super lighter. soft. It's a little funny. It's kind of like a, almost like I thought a microfiber a little bit. It's kind of splitty, but then when you knit it, it just sucks back in and it yeah. gives a really nice fabric, really soft fabric and good, yeah. pretty good definition. So um, I think once I get this yoke done, it's just a three, six month size. It's not going to take long to get the body done. The only thing that I've never done before, which I have to do on this, is you you separate for the sleeves flat, and then you have to seam them later, and I'm not a big fan of seaming. I don't do it very well, so I'm going to have to watch a few YouTube videos, I think, to figure it out. Okay. That's what I, by the time my mom slipped more into kind of unconsciousness the last couple of days, we weren't having to, you know, turn her and, and, and try to engage with her. We were able to sit, just sit with her. We would have music playing and and we would we would talk to her and let her know we were there but we both sat and knit for a little while each day and it was calming and soothing so and that leads to sarah's so what i was big knitting whip. i suppose i should have ended a row so i could at least hold it but i am also working on a cardigan and this is one i have knit so there we go several times and the pattern itself at the moment doesn't look like anything super special 
and I don't even have, actually I could pull up the picture on my phone really quick to show. Um, so this is called the Clementine, I think it's just called Clementine. I'm obviously in the middle of a row there, but this is the front of the cardigan. Yeah. And the pattern has a long or a short. Oops. White to put back behind it. Oh yeah. You can see this, it's got a beautiful gray. It's a gray, it's like a heathered gray a little bit. I don't know, maybe not heathered, but. It's not a super fancy yarn. This is a Michaels acrylic, but I've knit this sweater using the same yarn in yellow. And I'm pulling up the pattern on my phone so I can show you a picture. Um, I've knit it for a friend before in yellow. Has a, and I feel like I've done it in maybe gray. This might be my a, second gray. It has yarn. a little bit of a halo, kind of a little bit of a it white does. halo Let running through it. Show you. Silvery. There's Silvery. a long version and a short version, and I'm doing the short version. So I'm looking for the picture of the short version. But what's really stunning about this one, I think, is the hood. So you know, I'll zoom it in a little bit. So here's the front of the long one, um, and it has pockets. So the short one doesn't have pockets; it just goes more waist length. There you go. Yeah, and you can see the hood better. And then I'll I'll scroll it over a little. Uh -huh. So and then the hood is this adorable uh -huh. wavy pattern. It's really just, it's not that hard to knit. It looks complicated, but once you get going with the pattern, it's just like so um, pretty easy. And really turns out cute. The pattern is easy to follow. It's, um, oh, it's called Clementine Hoodie, and it's by oh, Carrie Bostick Hogue, who I think is Matter Made is her website, maybe. I'll find it and put it in the her patterns comments. are stunning. They're beautiful, and I've knit at least this one, and I feel like I've knit something else by her, although I can't think what it is. And they're always really well printed, really nice, easy to follow. The directions are very clear. That's really important to me, I think, so mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm second guessing myself all the time. Um, if I know I can trust the designer to have it be very clear. So anyway, yeah. I think that'll be really cute and I'm knitting that for a special baby that's coming soon. Um, so that's my knitting mix. I guess I can keep sharing. I actually did stitch quite a bit. I didn't work on this. I don't know what. Do you bring our new hollow? I brought mine. Is that yeah. enough? Oh yeah. I meant to grab yours. No, no, no. We'll just one. Let's see. Where to start? Well, I did, it does, again, every time I show this, I'm like, it doesn't look like that much. <laughs> it really doesn't the, look like that's that. the world of so this is like a oh, while well. of stitching on this one over one. I got the little seagull done, and then all the um, rocks around it make the white pop against the blue, which I was thankful for. Um, so I'm just kind of working away on these rocks, but soon I think I'm going to go back, and then there's a sun. Let me show you, show you I guess. Uh, this is the pattern, all finished. So I'm doing this one. So I think after I do that, I think I'm going to go back, after I finish the rocks, I'm not going to do the water next. I think I need to oh, go to something fun. there's like a little tiny Did you bird. not see the bird? Oh, I yeah. didn't. That's the little bird. <laughs> so That's here so he is cute. in the pattern. Oh. Little white bird on the shore. You know, guys, one over one's a pain in the butt, but it's really cute when you do it. It is cute. It makes it like really mm -hmm. delicate looking. Yeah. So next I'll go up and do the words after I finished all those, finish all those rocks. <laughs> All the rocks, but I love the coloring and the rocks look just makes it look like a rocky shore. It does. Because that's how it looks uh -huh. with the ocean. Different colors. Mm -hmm. Stones. And, yeah. Yeah, it's not all one color, that's for sure. And then I, I thought, oh, I won't show this one. I didn't really do that much, but I forgot that I actually did do quite a bit. She did a lot on, on this. My it's cute. Milk and Cream Co. Yeah, I, this was, it was hard to put this one down for a few days. I don't think you had her done. I didn't have her done. I don't even know if I had any of her done. I think this this period of time, I got the tulip done over next to her, mm -hmm. and her she just needs some shoes. She has little black shoes or something on. I think, gosh, I wish we could pull up her. Her little dress has got yeah. Here we go. I don't know if you can see. There we go. Her little dress has. Yeah. I think it's showing. It's I think showing. it might got a little more light on my side or something. You see? Does that make it? It's got a little pattern in it, like a little. Eh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm Checker doing. pattern. Oh, just, just bring it up. It. There you go. There. It's like flowers. Yeah. There are flowers in her dress. She's so sweet. <laughs> she's more cute. Maybe if I get it really close. There. There we go. Yeah. You can really see. Maybe we just need to hold She has up those really little, close. they're green flowers with a brown center and then the red pattern. And well, it's kind of a brown. Anyway, I thought yeah. she turned out really cute. That, and it was fun to stitch her and watch that yeah. come to life in front of my eyes. <laughs> Yes. Um, and I did pull out, I don't have a picture of this because it just wasn't included. I found this kit at um, Goodwill, the dimensions kit, and I got it for like 
six dollars or something with all the fabric and all the threads and the whole pattern the only thing missing was the finished picture but this is called valley of the river six dollars valley of river Beck. is that, or is that a that movie oh my gosh that pattern yeah, it's really I mean, I really don't think they're gonna. I don't think you could probably really recreate that Valley of the River deck. Yeah, and it's I think it's a painting that's done into process. What's the little What's the little bracelet in here for? Oh, I think I don't know. It's one of the girls' is Sarah bracelet. also carries jewelry just, around in her fancy project bags. Yes, I might wanna. <laughs> if you remember our last video, we talked about our fancy. Dances. I can't afford project bags, but I can afford pearls. <laughs> Actually, I think those are freshwater girls. And six dollar real kits from. I don't know what there's in there. I think they were one of the girls' or something. <laughs> so I actually did a lot down here on it. I had I had a goal of trying to finish this this year, and I kind of gave up on that. That's probably not realistic. I wonder if I'd have to stitch it, it pretty called? monogamously. What's it called? Valley of the River Beck. Let's see if I can pull it up. So it. I mean, I have quite a bit left. See all this blank fabric? It's gonna all be full. So um, it's big, but sometimes it's just nice to pull out something and just put it. You in. should see the back of this thing. It's like a doggone tapestry. You mean the back of my? Yeah, back oh, of this. That's my back. It's not super pretty, but it could be worse. I'm okay. kind of picky about how. When you taught me to cross stitch, you were you insisted I do not carry a thread more than five. So Guess I what? never do. You Guess probably what? do now. I do now. I still I don't, don't care. This is a. It's a Mm -hmm. well, we've got a picture of, of the finished pattern or the finished project. Oh, I'm not gonna do it very well here. I think I showed this a while ago and I did have a picture. Oh, please. This is the best I'm gonna be able to come up okay, with. I have to chip it. So, oh, no, too dark. Too dark. Okay, let me just. Yeah, you can see. So I'm doing. Are you sure this is it? Valley of the River back? Well, dimensions. Yeah, I guess that might be it. The mm -hmm. house doesn't look the same. Yeah. Does it? I don't know. I'm the one stitching it. I should probably know. Yeah, maybe that's it. Anyway, I think that is it. You could Google it, and you'll get a picture. So there's a bridge and some water and some sky, and mm -hmm. I have a lot left. You can Google it or I'll put it down in the notes. Valley of the River Beck. I don't know for sure. You can probably find it somewhere. Yeah. Um, or you could find it here for $150. Yeah, that that's be, the crazy that thing. That would be like, eBay. Uh, plus that 500 kit? Or is that it finished? Oh, no, sorry. That's it That's finished. probably stitched. That's stitched. Sorry. But the kit, when I did look it up, the kit was not. I mean, I got it for a major steal. The girls say, Mom, is that the project that you got at Goodwill that's like $100? Which is probably not quite accurate, but... Okay, let's see. I did quite a bit on this little. I finished one square of my. Uh, you can buy it seven. new, by the way, on Amazon for ninety nine dollars. The pattern. The, the kit. The kit. Yeah. I mean, I got <laughs> so it, they weren't joking. It was a yeah. hundred dollars. Um. So I got a total steal on that dimensions kit. You did. Um. I finished this square on the Winter Snapper Land by Bent Creek. Bent Creek. Um, looking at me. My I was trying gone. to remember. I'm like, uh. so there's a series of winter snapper lands that mom got me in Minnesota when they were back. It's Stitchville, USA. Oh, wow, it's Stitchville. A year ago, over a year ago. I want to go back. So Let's go back. I'm stitching them in a row with the border that was also free. Mm -hmm. So I got the first one done and realized afterwards that I didn't do the one I meant to put on the far left. But oh well. Oh, really? Yeah, I think there's kind of an order you're supposed to go in so that the snow, like, looks like that and i thought i and i looked that up and thought i had that and i didn't i guess i don't know what i did it'll be fine but it doesn't really matter i can change around the snow too frankly yeah. to make it help. or not it's just one off so it'll have a border that top blue border. i just want to point out this fancy project bag um this is a bag that i get <laughs> when i buy my hair products at a beauty salon and they give these beautiful cellophane bags out and i save them and when i see my little girls I bring them treats in them, and Sarah absconds with them and turns them into I magic them bags. and they become the perfect project bag size. <laughs> when I don't feel like I want to just do another Ziploc. Oh, oh look Sarah. what else I have in here. I have another pearl Oh, bean. Sarah's got pearls, just pearls for days. <laughs> the thing I worked on at Grandma's the most oh, when we were sitting there. You guys, this piece, this camera is not going to pick up. I know, up. the colors aren't going to show. 
gorgeous. And I keep looking at it thinking, that is just DMC. That is just DMC, but it's it so beautiful. Actually, they do use, it says, one of the oranges, oh. they re the orange they replaced by a variegated thread. But and you, I didn't. So they use a Nina's thread oh. up on these flowers. Oh, again, the, the lighting is great. The but colors. it doesn't matter. Yours is gorgeous. But mine, I used just the called for DMC because I didn't have any Nina's thread. And I, so I did get quite a bit done on this. Um, it's just so I, cute. It is cute. And I'm really happy with how it's turning out. So this, probably the last time I showed it, I don't know if I had the butterfly done. Yeah, you can hold it. In. I know, I might have done the butterfly already. I can't remember, but I think I've done all this oh, and truck. some of this and the, this flower. And the tractor with the hay bales is so cute. These little yellow, it's just so sweet. Oh, I did the ladybugs yesterday. I really want the orange this. flower. I'm going to do this for sure next year for my it's summer. Cute. And they have a seasonal one. Did you know that? Each season, there's one. So now mm. I'm like, I think I need to get, well, they at least have one or two other seasons. Oh, no. I'll have to look that up. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. So that might be. I'll just work that in around on my hot run hollows. <laughs> that might be on one of our Christmas for Christmas. Which, which Carolyn sure. Zook, I blame you for. Hot run hollow. Chardon okay. Privé. Okay, so that's our whips. That's not bad. We did a lot for such a busy couple weeks. Mm -hmm. You did. I did. I did a little knitting. <laughs> I did a little. You did a lot of knitting back. <laughs> I did a lot of froggy. Every time I looked over and she was like, oh, no, I have to knit back. <laughs> I missed an eyelid. And it's not that hard of a, be a lot further. It's not that hard of a pattern. I, I know. I've knit way harder things than that. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I, you know, and I, I had forgot a yarn over, which makes a loop. And I was knitting, I'm knitting three rows last night. And, I, and Sarah finally looked over. We had a Mamma Mia movie night last night. And, and uh. <laughs> Our favorite. I, I think we watch it. Well, we try to watch it once a summer together. Yeah. Again. I said, well, I just spent the whole movie and knitting these three rows. She goes, you're unknitting again? And I said, yeah, I forgot a yarn over. She goes, mom, you know, you could just probably pull one up. And I'm like, I probably could, but I would, I just didn't, I just unknit it because it just seemed like the path of least resistance. I'm almost done guys. Uh, almost done. You'll okay. get it. Maybe by next time you'll have it done. Yeah. So you show this all. Okay. Gonna... So this, this is our big okay. haul. Um, Alicia mm -hmm. Paulson, who we've talked about every single episode, probably because we love her patterns. I feel like they're um, always, one of yeah. us is always showing one. And we're always probably working on something of hers. And I, we both have done her four part season one that we've showed. There was mm -hmm. a, there was a spring, a summer, an autumn and a winter. So we both have all four of those done. And then she started coming out with a new, more, um, motif oriented series. And she came out with a spring one. And so we both have Which I'm those. I'm still working on. Are you working on that one still? I haven't started it yet. Oh, no, started I haven't started it. that one. I was working on my autumn one from oh, the last. Okay. But she had hinted <clears throat> earlier in the late in spring that she was coming, going to release the summer. Because it's going to be four, four parts. Wait, the so summer one. This. It's so cute. And so I've been cute. stalking her, you know, just waiting and waiting for this oh. pattern to come out. And I think with, you know, the pandemic, <laughs> things got postponed. And I was sitting at my mom's house and we were we were exhausted. I mean, we, we really, it was so hard and I happened to look and she had just released oh. the pattern and I decided that we both deserved and had earned the full kit. And so I ordered yeah. Sarah one and I ordered myself one and it's her things of summer. And oh my gosh, it's so got, cute. it's, I'm going to pull it back a little bit. It's got a swimsuit. A little stripy oh, flowers, suit. butterfly, a little like beach leaf. bag, yeah, sandals, and you know, lemonade. It looks like flowers. so sweet and simple. I love these, and are these cone flowers? I think so. It's just oh, so cute. The colors again are not. It's not doing justice, but this little imagine pattern, vibrant colors with all oh, those cool. motifs has this many oh, colors. Yeah. She just puts in so much beautiful color. Oh, the little like lanterns. There's a strand here and a strand show there. Show the lanterns. Oh, yeah. I didn't point them out, but yeah. Look, show look at these adorable oh, little Japanese lanterns hanging off that branch. Oh, like a magazine for beach reading. I don't know. It's so cute. Uh, you guys. So, and they're so. There's like 30 colors. And the kit comes oh, with just peach. like one strand. Yeah, the peach. peach. Looks really like it's got probably one, two, three, four, five colors in that little tiny peach. Yeah. Anyway. They the came. drawback of these is that when you get the kit, they the fat the threads are all like they are. looped together, you know, and you have to separate them out. But 
I've done it with her pattern so many times that I can go kind of quick. And so I did mom's for her. This beautiful. Yeah, it's like green. a minty blue green. I wonder what it's called. It'll say on the pattern. It's called. Clearly, we're not really great at doing this outside, but anyway, it is. That is Witch Elk Star Sapphire 113. These are all DMCs, by the way, I think. I want to see it, maybe. Um, I think they're DMC. It just says cotton embroidered. Cloth, I think they're DMC. I'm sure. She, DMC. Yeah, because I always, I have in the past. She has, so do the DMCs, do they have, oh, yeah. These, These color names are not assigned by DMC, mm -hmm. but are generally accepted in yeah. the industry. Sometimes I just yeah. can't deal with the this star and I just buy the fabric and the pattern and give Sarah these colors <laughs> yeah. and she and buys buy the, the pattern, pattern and fabric <laughs> and I go get all the DMCs for it. But I, I told her I would do it for her this time. As a gift of love for her because I, mother. I, I don't have a too hard of a time, yeah. especially in the daylight. I can, yeah. the hardest are like the trying to tell which one is a crew and which one is tawny, very light. <laughs> tawny, very anyway. light. So, and I, I did it for both of ours. I told her I wasn't going to start it because I needed to do the spring one first, but mm. I'm kind of thinking based on our new hashtags we're going to reveal here, yeah. I might actually start this very, very soon. I have one other haul too. So when I got the news about grandma, I was still in Yakima and I was kind of waiting to know when a good time to come over was, would be. So life was just for about a limbo. A few days went on as normal and I needed to go grocery shopping. So I went to a grocery uh, Costco and other places and I was really grumpy because I hate grocery shopping and Jesse my husband was like you need to go do something fun I think you should see if Hobby Lobby is open and if so you should go in and I was like oh I don't want to deal with Hobby Lobby it's probably gonna be really crowded but I went to the I Hobby to the, Lobby's <laughs> worth it even when it's crowded <laughs> I went to the bakery outlet and then while I was doing that I was like no I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby I'm just gonna go and it wasn't there were longer lines than like a regular Monday morning or whatever. She FaceTimed me. It wasn't me. that bad. She FaceTimed me because <laughs> she'd been wait. Mine's been open for a couple months. Yeah. And, and I've been, been just, jealous yeah. and jealous. Mine's probably going to get shut down again because our county can't get it together. But she FaceTimed me and she got a mask on. Guess where I am? <laughs> Guess where I am? Because I keep saying, I really miss <laughs> Hobby Lobby. So I went to their cross stitch kits. I was just curious what they had. And I don't usually buy kits. Like I usually oh, just buy Unless patterns. you can get them for six bucks. Or unless I find them. Yeah, good for <laughs> cheap. But I had a, like a 40% coupon and I was buying wow. other stuff, but this one was, I don't know, it was, I don't think I have the, I don't remember what it was originally, but I used the coupon. So I was able to get this because I was also thinking about sunflowers because grandma and, um, so I picked up this, it's big. I didn't have any delusion that I was going to get very far on it before. Yeah. Anything. She wasn't trying to get it <laughs> done before to get she it done. passed away. Like I was. But I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And I think I want to do more sunflowers in the house in maybe September. I kind of was thinking um, it would be fun to do nautical type theme July and August or maybe late August start pulling out sunflowers. So this real is a Riolis kit which I think is a um, it's from Lithuania. It's a Lithuanian company and the it doesn't use cotton. It uses wool um, floss. So it has a really it's different to work with and that it does it's kind of like yarn it has this halo to it when you're stitching but this is how I just got one little flower partially done this is three yellows you guys I mean there's just going to be so much color variation in this and it's going to be really pretty I am really excited about it Swigert fabric I think yeah it sounds 14 count mm -hmm. yeah 14 count Ada so that makes it kind of nice and easy to stitch woolen and acrylic yarn sapple so it's like yarn. Mm -hmm. 20, 26 yeah. colors. It's really pretty. That's mm -hmm. it. <laughs> Looks like there would be a lot more than 26, gorgeous, but I think though. you just repeat this. It's going to be colors. so pretty. Yeah. So that was my other haul. And I was kind of holding off, I thought, till we could film to show it as just haul. But I decided as I was sitting there one night. It's still I haul. Was, it it's was new time. since we fit. It was anything new, new since we last sure. filmed yeah. in my book is haul. Yeah. So it didn't qualify to me as a whip. And really things sure. that you were supposed to start. You know, three yeah. weeks ago, qualify as haul. Yeah. So we had a giveaway on our last video a few weeks ago. So thanks for all of you who commented and um, liked our video. And we have a winner. The giveaway was, this, right? was the Halloween yeah. ornament or your know, Halloween. They don't call it ornament. Just cross stitch. Yeah, just cross stitch. Halloween issue. It's got some really cute things yeah. in it, guys. I thought once I decided we were going to give this away, I went and ordered myself one because. Yeah. There are some so, serious things that I would love to show. Um, 
continuation. I don't know. There was a couple. That was that that one page with the punch that I liked towards the. Um, although that was cute. It's fun to see all the different designers that we already, already kind of like putting stuff in. And I found a few new ones. Like I have never heard or really looked at. Um, oh, that one is cute. That's the Pinocchio. Is this the page you wanted? Yeah. So this so one has Cindy? one from Lindy Stitches. So Stephanie you know, Wang, we also are who we love. Fan girls of. <laughs> fan girls yeah. of Stephanie. So Stephanie Webb from Lindy Stitches did this brave fellows with the vulture and I kind of really love it and I think I might stitch it because it's, it's so quirky. So, so Stephanie. So we've got crows and, and turkey vulture and then this is Pinochka Stitches um, and Dokia Nikolaeva who we also are fangirls of and always talk about her. Love that one and you said you really like this one. I can't remember who designed this one. I don't know. I just, it was just kind of simple. I just kind of liked it. That one is Oh, Ro uh, Rona, Rona Nori. Nori. I don't know her, but it is cute. The little spider. With the and, and I'll show one other one I just thought was so quirky. Too. Um, Partly because I have little redheads oh, yeah, hanging around my house right now, but I just thought that was so that's cute that's and quirky. Really so that one's designed by. That one is designed by. Oh, let's see. Um, Doreen Jones, Doreen. who I've also not heard of. We're still going. We're low. We're long and slow. Anyway, anyway, there's some really cute things in here, and we have a winner. Sarah did random number generator thingy. And our winner is Connie from Count Twice, Stitch Once. So congratulations, Connie. We might have your address, so if we do, because I, I feel like you won one once before. So if I find it, but email me. Why don't you just email me your address, because be I might not have it. Because our life um, is a little scattered right now. Let me know that you um, oh. saw, saw this. Do you see another one you want to show? Well, this is just cute. It's a cauldron, but it's it's beads coming out of it. Oh, it's gold yeah, and, and, and it's it 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 very well. You can sorry. Is it metallic threads? I don't think it's metallic threads, but the beads are kind no, of metallic. -y. Yeah, there's um kind of a blue and a I don't know. It's just kind of cool. It's just different and, and little. That is cute. And that one is by um, Gune Yuya Yuya. Uh, Renee, turquoise yeah. graphics and designs. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, it's it's cute. So some years are better than others. And this year has a lot of really cute ones in it. I'm really gonna have to start walking around waiting for the Halloween ornament one to come out. I think that doesn't come out till like September, but I wish it would come out. So they do another Halloween ornament? I mean or Christmas, Christmas ornament. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, the Christmas one comes out. I wish it would come a little earlier. Yeah. But anyway, we've got a winner. It's Christmas. And we just want to skip ahead now to Christmas. Yeah, kinda do. I kind of just want to skip ahead to 2030, but no. I don't think that's going to happen either. All right, let's talk plans really quick. My plans are to get back to work <laughs> next week. Okay. Um, I'm going to actually, um, I think, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I think I am for sure going to start my Christmas Hawk Run Hollow. I might even start that this afternoon. I don't know. And I do want to work on... Um, my button up um and i've been really really longing to work on my autumn squirrels by um blue bonnet blue bonnet designs no blue 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 not blue bonnet it's anyway well, well you <laughs> i know it yeah i don't even have it to show you because i don't even know where it is the i mean blue flower the blue, blue flower. flower blue flower and i might work on that sunflower a little bit if it's not too painful um that's my plan. And I know Jesse Marie probably today or yesterday drew the new WIPCO number. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I haven't had a chance to look to see what's on my board for that yet. But that'll probably play into my plans also. But then Sarah's got this new plan. Well, okay. So I've been toying for a while. I really liked doing Mania where I had it kind of listed out what I was going to work on so that I kind of made a lot of progress on different things like quite a bit of progress on a lot of different things but then in july we did or june i did kind of a seasonal rotation and that was fun but i don't know it wasn't really like super exciting yeah and july has been kind of a weird month i didn't even work i finished one ornament that i was going to do and then i had two or three i was hoping to do and i didn't because the last couple of weeks have been crazy and i just needed to do really easy comfort stitching i felt like um but i have always really liked um since i was started watching Priscilla and Chelsea how they have hashtags but my stitching doesn't line up with their hashtags because I don't really stitch a lot of witches and I don't really stitch a lot of Santas 
I'm more likely to stitch seasonal um, or maybe Christmas, but not necessarily sort of Santa, which I know you can use Santa Sunday, like they use Santa Sunday and Witchy Wednesday and Fall anyway, Friday. Fall Friday. And I just, anyway, I just haven't really ever been able to follow their hashtags. So I thought for myself, I would just make some new hashtags that kind of lined up more with what I stitched. So I, might, I might follow. Maybe you can follow I'm too. Gonna I'll make, list them down below. Yeah. If you want to share on Instagram, I'll try and share on Instagram and hashtag share my, with the hashtags. So my new ones that I'm going to do, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too typing like about it. But I just, um, I have summery projects. I have fall projects. I have winter projects. So I have summery Sunday that I'm going to do. Hashtag summery Sunday. I'm going to still do Merry Monday and kind of put Christmas there. That's one of Priscilla and Chelsea's. Um, mm -hmm. And then I, so then I wanted to do wintry Wednesday. Okay. Floral. Mm -hmm. I skipped one. You skipped Tuesday. I know on purpose. Okay. I'll go back. Okay. Wintery Wednesday because I knew I wanted a winter one. I often have winter that's not specifically Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then I have, well, I have my sunflower, but I also have the little um, springtime. Alicia Paulson. No, that's not the one I was thinking of. Oh. The one that you have on your, the pillow on your coffee table, the primavera. Oh, the lily violet. Lily uh, violet. Little girls so with the basket. Flowers. So mm -hmm. I thought, well, I could either do fall Friday or floral Friday, depending on what I felt like I had going at the time. Mm -hmm. Fall Friday is Priscilla and Chelsea, but, um, but I was thinking about my sunflower too, like that could be floral Friday. And then springtime Saturday, but that left Tuesday and Thursday without a hashtag, which of course I could just, but I wanted to kind of have something fun to put if I did, even if I was doing sort of random stitching. So we thought, well, we'll do truly, I'll do truly lovely Tuesday and that can just be free choice. And then thera <laughs> therapeutic Thursday, <laughs> which I don't know now. <laughs> Mine might be gonna... therapeutic Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Maybe every day is therapeutic, but I just, anything that feels like really good on Thursday, I'll just yeah. pull out and stitch. Like when I just think, what do I really want to yeah. stitch today? And it could be what you're going to plan on Friday. You can yeah. work on if I'm stitch. really loving my floral Friday or my mm -hmm. springtime Saturday piece. So I'm going to try it and see how for August, because I don't know. I mean, I do enjoy it's having a little than therapy. structure to my stitching because it does I get a lot more done when I know already what I'm going to go out and work on rather than, yeah. I don't know. I know. I feel a little scattered. I have too many on the go. And I, I did, I do want to kind of plan my year out next year a little bit better. January. You, I, we know some people were talking about um, arbitrary August. Who did yes. you say? Um, Stitching Mommy. Oh yeah. Stitching Mommy. Apparently. Starting maybe arbitrary August, but we, I'm probably not going to do that. My life is so arbitrary. Yeah. I don't. I don't need a special month for it. <laughs> uh, but no. the people, I think, do like they spin the wheel. They put. I think it's whip oriented, and it, from what I can tell, I just search the hashtags, and it looks like people put their projects in a one of those little yeah. random wheels on their phone. Whatever. And it one gal, day they do. yeah, one gal sounded like she divided her whips up to from small, medium, large, and then baps, which somebody coined as big ass projects. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which would be like my your, dimension, your dimension, and so then she must have a wheel, one wheel that does what size she's going to pick, and then she must have a wheel for her small projects and a wheel for wow. her medium and a meal. That's what I think is what she was talking about. Makes so, um, I don't think um, I'm going to be doing arbitrary, but we thought we'd throw it out there as something that is being done out there. Um, and if you're on Instagram, if you search that, um, sorry, it's a fly. I'm not, <laughs> um, search the hashtags, and I, I don't know. I tried to find her on Instagram. I don't know if she has a different name or if I was just spelling it wrong. Yeah, still look Stitching it up. Mommy. I think it's with, it, I don't think there's a G at the end. I feel like Stitching Mommy. Stitching Mommy. It might be. I can't remember yeah. for sure. I have watched some so of her videos. That's happening a for a lot of people. Um, there, and if you aren't also aware of um, Jen, I can't believe her last name. She does the 24 hour cross stitch. They just had a 24 hour cross stitch weekend last weekend I believe and they have a Facebook group and it's kind of a fun group to be a part of they do lots of kinds of things um, if you just go on Facebook and look for 24 hour cross stitch um, and that there'll probably be another one of those sanctioned weekends maybe I think in November but anyway that's another group that I was hoping to have done that I was planning on doing mm -hmm. that this last week but it didn't happen so that's that's kind of the news and that we know about in the stitching world I'm sure there is so many other things out there probably yeah and i haven't even watched any last two normally we you know we like to have a shout out of what we've been watching and you know 
this was just not one of those no. times. In so. fact, I feel really bad. I, I haven't even looked back at the comments on our last video and I really meant to do that before we filmed, but yeah, we'll get I back. I think we filmed, our last one that we filmed was the day that grandma yeah. got the call from the doctor. So it, it really has been such a whirlwind and we keep thinking, oh, we, we should floss tube. And then obviously as things kind of moved ahead, we, that was not going to. Even the happen, hospice we workers it. were surprised at how fast it happened. So yeah. it was a whirlwind and, um, but we're back and life will, co will continue and we'll hopefully get our act together again and <laughs> have time to devote to this. So and, com and we comment on it. your comments. Cause I, I do try to go back and and comment on the comments. So please leave a comment and we don't have yeah. a giveaway this week, but maybe next week. And yep. um, like we will... us, subscribe, share. Mm -hmm. Yeah, share about us. Whatever YouTubers say, do all of those things. Yeah, <laughs> do all those things. Um, but we appreciate watching and we hope to get to some of y'all's videos when we have a minute here soon and yeah. enjoy watching what you're stitching and